This is Blackout. What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and it appears Treyarch has just started teasing the next season for Black Ops 4 over on their Twitter and they first changed their profile picture to this, which could be one of two things. The first theory was that it's going to be a new specialist icon, so a new character in multiplayer that you could probably also play as in Blackout. And the reason we say that is because they did release a bunch of specialist patches over with the collector's editions of Black Ops 4 and it does look like it could pass as a specialist patch patch, but it's just a vague theory. The other theory, which to me is the most probable, is that this is a prestige icon for Blackout players, and I really hope this is, because I've been max ranking Blackout for almost two months now, and it really does suck when you get a whole bunch of kills or a nice victory, and you get absolutely nothing for all that hard work when you back out into the lobby, and it really does suck, because I know there are people out there who have been max rank in Blackout way before I was, probably within the first month to month and a half of release with Black Ops 4, and people are bored. People have gone through all the character challenges, all the levels, and there's nothing left for them to do. So obviously they go on to other games or they go on to a different game mode, whatever that may be. So hopefully they are on their shit with Blackout Prestiges. I can't stress that out enough. This is the easiest way to increase replayability with Treyarch's Battle Royale. But they also started teasing these blueprints, which obviously hint at new areas being added to the Blackout map. I covered the teasers the other day, which involved the candy shop from buried and possibly a western-like town similar to Outlaw from Black Ops 3 DLC 4. And on these blueprints, we first off can notice that black circle in the top left corner, and that's the easiest place to put a map like Carrier or Cove, two phenomenal maps from Black Ops 2. And I do think adding hijack was the right idea. There's a lot of empty space in the water that can easily be filled up by some high-tier loot locations, and Cove is honestly a phenomenal map. I can imagine, you know, walking through the those broken airplanes and finding trauma kits. I can imagine a lot of good loot being in that map, but Carrier also was pretty damn big and I think for Blackout it'll be a very very large area which could lead to some very cool final zones very nice loot and you name it so hopefully they had one of those two locations over there in the water but I also thought on the opposite side of Nuketown since there's currently nothing there that would also be a nice spot to add something small as well I do know we have Lighthouse towards the back left of the Nuketown area and we of course have Hijack to the right but there's obviously more space to fill in in between and as we look at some other markings here on these blueprints, we have that giant X, obviously hinting at a possible underground area or a western-like town. That's where that giant clock is by the turbine. I showed that in the other video the other day. And we also have some other markings, which are honestly right where these stakes can be found across the map. So it was brought to my attention by Prestigious Key that not all of the stakes that are currently present in the map are seen on these blueprints, which could be interesting. Not sure why that is, but they did mark some of the locations where those stakes can be found. And I also think it's interesting that we can see some other markings by the Hydro Dam. So I think it's great that they're going to be adding not one, but maybe a dozen new little locations, even if they're big or small, something new to the map. They're going to add a whole new aesthetic to this season. I'm not sure if a Western-like culture is being hinted for the entire season or if it's just going to be a separate area around the map. You guys can let me know what you think down below in the comment section. But once again, as I said in my previous video, adding one new area is not going to be enough for this operation. And we saw that clearly with Hijack being added in with an Operation Absolute Zero. So adding in just maybe two big areas and then a bunch of small ones in between will make all the difference for this upcoming season. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been DK Dynamite. Stay tuned in for more gameplay, news, and coverage. We are expecting some trailers for the next set of multiplayer maps and the new zombie map later this week as well. And I'll keep you guys updated along with my upcoming Apex Legends videos, which I'm having a blast bringing out to you guys. But that's about it. And peace out, everybody.